Hey y'all, <clears throat> I had to uh, take a few days off the garage because I uh, had a really nasty cold going, so I was, I was down and out for a couple of days, but uh, feeling a little better today, so let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can continue and get some stuff done. No, you're not bringing home another piece of junk. <laughs> Okay, so here's where we left off last time. I just sanded all this down, and um, I was getting ready to start on this side. Now I was, um, I found. What did I do with it? Anyway, he's uh, he bought a, a pre-made patch for this hole, and it fits pretty good. So we're gonna weld that in there today. Uh, we're gonna cut this cab corner out today down there where I showed you and we're gonna cut this rocker out today um, Bill and his daughter and his grandsons were over here the other night and they POR 15 the whole bottom of that bed um, wire brushed it off and the frame so that should uh, keep all that rust from coming back I still got I got a little patching to do there you can see that corner there uh, I gotta put a little patch in there and there, there's a couple of little places I gotta do a few things on it but um, once we get uh, this side done like that side we're gonna set the bed back on the frame we're not gonna push it all the way up you know I'm gonna leave I don't know a foot maybe a little bit more in between so that when we can paint it we can uh, you know paint in between there and then when that's done we'll slide it forward and bolt it down so uh, it's, it's coming along pretty good. Uh, had a few, uh, oh, by the way, I got uh, hit 500 subscribers the other day, which is awesome. So thank you, everybody, for watching the channel and leaving comments. Um, had a few comments about, you know, when are you going to get back on the Chevy and on the 61? And, you know, I just uh, I got to get this thing done first, but it's, it's moving along pretty good. So I don't think uh, I'm hoping... Like I've said a few times, I'm hoping uh, into January that this thing is painted and on the way back to Bill's house. And then I have a major cleaning to do in here. Um, Kyle's been over here working on this thing. And uh, I don't know if you can see how thick that dust is over there. But uh, it's pretty thick. And then um, he's still got to do the other side. And then I, I got dust all over here and I, and I haven't even sanded yet you know and crap back there where they wire brush the bottom of the bed off so before we paint we're gonna have to <coughs> push both cars out and uh really do some cleaning in here because i don't want this paint full of dust and uh yeah i usually don't like for it to get this dirty but when you got two cars going it's it's kind of unavoidable so that's just the way it is all right, so um, I'm going to find that patch. I'd set it around here somewhere. We'll get that welded on. We'll get the stuff uh, cut out. I think we're going to go ahead and pull the door just so we got some more room. And then uh, I have to do to this door uh, what I did to the other door. Uh, set it up on that cart and weld those, weld those holes shut. And uh, anyway, that's what we're going to try to do today. Okay, let's, uh, let's get moving. All right, so I went ahead and pulled the door, pulled the door gasket. Um, I found my little fat piece. So I bought that pre-made off of eBay. And uh, fits really good in there. So we're gonna weld that in there in a minute. I think I'll start with this. Um, going through parts though, and we do not have another inner rocker. I guess you accidentally just ordered one. So, not a big deal, it's just flat metal with 290s in it. We'll just, I got some 18 gauge here, we'll just make one. <clears throat> um, so yeah. And then I was looking back here. Second. So I got a rust hole right there. 
not a bad one, but I, first I thought we'll clean that patch up and save it. But you know, since I got a hole there and it's kind of heavy rusted, I think we're gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna cut like right about here. Just get up above that and put that new piece in because there's a, I don't know if you can see it, but you can feel it's like a dent there and a dent there. Might as well get rid of it. So we're good back here, so I'm not gonna worry about going all the way over here like I done on that last one. I'll probably just, just right in here somewhere. You know, that floor is on an angle. You see these spot welds, that's the floor. So if I go right to here, that should be good. This is all behind the bed anyway. You're not gonna see that. Okay, let me get my welder set up. We'll pop this in there. Um, I think I'll go ahead and spare you the pain of the grind and I'll go ahead and cut that out before I restart the camera. And uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. Let's right, stop for a minute and kind of show you what we got. I got the rocker cut off and I got the corner cut off where I wanted to. So it's a little worse on this side in some spots and then not as bad as some spots on the other side. So I got to kind of adjust my methodology a little bit of how we're going to approach this. Uh, one, because I got to make this inner rocker. Um, so I don't want to cut, just cut the thing out and just have a big hole uh i think i'm gonna make it in two sections you know from here to about the middle and get that on and lined up good and looking good and fix that front brace and then once that part's done then go back and fix this back brace and if you look underneath the front brace is about the same as it was on the other side uh except it looked like it bottomed out let me see if i can show you So definitely bottomed out here and then it's gone here up to about there, which is about the same as the other one. So that's going to work out the same. Uh, the back brace <laughs> is definitely worse. Now the other one only went to about here. This one is bad past this other brace. So he's got this brace new, but this is good. So I don't want to cut the whole thing out. But to get this, I think I'm gonna to have to cut the end off of it and then probably just cut the end off that new one and splice it together. This is good, this is good. The floor is, yeah, that's a maybe. We'll see once we get this stuff cut out and cleared out. This is that corner patch that was in there. You can see that's, that's fairly new looking. So, that's how we're going to do that. And then this, when you come down the A-pillar, so the rocker overlaps there, and then this is the extension of the A-pillar, I guess the dog leg or whatever you want to call it. So it's pretty bad up to about here. Now the other one, just the tip of it was bad. So I'm going to have to make a little I'm gonna have to make a little patch to go behind this, probably up into here to extend that down. Cause this is, you know, this is kind of important for door stability. <coughs> <coughs> Still coughing. But looking at this, <clears throat> the other rocker, this top ledge here was completely blown through everywhere. And looking underneath and looking up here, this, I don't know some of this might be pretty solid so i might just maybe a cut here and go down i'm, I'm gonna wire brush that all off real good and, and uh see what it looks like um anything is still good i hate to you know like i said I'm, if i whack the whole thing out and then try to make one i'm afraid it won't line up right so i'm just going to do it in sections and then uh test the outer rocker as i go and then uh, back here, 
Yeah, kind of same deal. You know, we're right up behind there. So we're gonna have to fix that. <coughs> but just gonna take a little bit more time than the other side, but uh, you know, nothing horrible. Done, done much worse. Okay, so I've got this patch up here, got a magnet on it. And we're gonna get the welder set up, tack that in real quick. And then we're gonna start looking at, we're gonna start cutting out some more bad on the front of that rocker and see what we gotta do. Okay. So I thought I'd show how I do these. Um, not real difficult. <laughs> but I just put the patch on there, hold it on there with a magnet. It's not gonna fit perfectly all the way around when you do that, but it's, it's lined up good here. So I'm just gonna tack it there and then just kind of work around work it around. Tack it in a few different places until I got it nice and flush in the water. Stick it out here and kind of stick it out here so we'll take this body hammer so we can work that in. Feels pretty good. Oh, 
while I'm here, let's do these two holes. And these two. These are smaller holes down here and there, so I think we can, I think we can fill those. Back down to two here. Where's my stool? Cool off a little bit, and I'll do another pass around there and get those. Don't worry too much about warpage here. I mean, you got this corner here, you got this corner here, and then you got this double corner here. So it's there's a lot of a lot of structure there. It's not like where you got a big flat panel where it's gonna the heat's gonna make it move a lot. So this don't worry about it as much when I'm in a situation like that. Okay, so uh, next thing I'm going to do is cut, uh, well, let's, I'm going to grind down this top ledge, see what it looks like, and then cut out what's left of this outer rocker and start kind of planning on what I'm going to do there. Uh, okay. All right, so I got uh, the remains of the old outer rocker out on both ends and uh, cut away a lot of bad metal up here. Now, like I said, on the other side, 
this dog leg that came down was in pretty good shape and I was able to clean it up and use it. But over here, not so much. So what I'm gonna have to do is make that piece and it goes like that, I think. Yeah, kind of goes like that and make that piece that goes next to it. And that'll go under the new rocker. And then I'm just gonna have to treat this with uh, probably, probably brush some POR 15 up in there because that's the, uh, we're getting into the A pillar there and it's it's pitted and it's rusty, but I mean, it's it's fairly solid. If we go, you know, we go any further, then we're into the hinge. And if we go past that, then we're into pulling the whole front clip off. And it's just, like I said, you gotta, you gotta decide where to stop. So we're gonna do everything we can to treat that and uh, uh, weld some new structure on it so that it doesn't come back. And uh, I drilled that uh, brace out underneath and cut it off. So that looks pretty decent under there. We're gonna clean that up. Just do the same thing we did on the other side. So first thing I'm gonna do is I got, I got that piece and I got this piece that it went like that. So I'm probably just gonna make that in a couple of pieces. Probably won't look exactly the same, but the important thing is that it provides some structure. And see this piece on the back that came down and met this was completely gone. So I'm probably gonna have to weld a piece just coming down off of here so that I got something to, to weld this to. And uh, it's gonna be a little tricky, but I just gotta make, uh, we just gotta have some structure there and it's gotta fit under the rocker. It really doesn't matter what it looks like when it's under there. But like this ledge is good. Um, I kind of got this edge a little bit sharp when I cut it off, as you can see, did a nice whack on my thumb. So I'm going to get that, get those couple little pieces made and in there, ground down, check the rocker, make sure it fits over it. And then make this inner rocker piece, check it again, make sure it fits over it. And, uh, then we'll move on to this back piece. <coughs> so I don't know how far we'll get today, but uh, I'm going to keep going on a little bit more. Um, one note I was going to mention earlier, there was a lot of tornadoes in Kentucky and uh, Arkansas and Illinois, and we had some here in Missouri last night. Sounds like a lot of damage, a lot of people hurt, a lot of fatalities. So, uh, you know, we just, we just need to, uh, one, offer prayers up for those people. Uh, for the families who lost their loved ones, you know, for the jobs that may have been lost. But, uh, you know, it's it's going to be like Joplin, Missouri years ago. We need to be ready to open your, uh, open your wallet up, you know, and, and, uh, and contribute to some of these agencies that are, that are helping these people and helping them to get back on their feet because, uh, you know, thank, thank the Lord it wasn't, uh, we didn't get that around here, but a lot of people uh, really got hurt last night. So keep them in mind. And uh, anyway, let's, uh, I'm gonna start making these pieces and uh, see where we come out. Okay, so I made this little piece, this little L piece, and I made this piece and extended that down. Now I got these two pieces to make. This one goes like this. And this one goes like this. And then the rocker goes over that. But before I do that, I'm going to get some uh, POR 15 I got over there. And I'm going to get a brush and paint everything I can up in here. <clears throat> get a coat as good as I can, reach as far as I can. So that when we weld this and we seal it up, that we got that protection in there. And uh, I don't know if I can do anything on the back of these pieces or not when I make them. I guess I could just paint some rust oleum on them so it's got some kind of sealer on the back of them and then weld it up in there. Okay. So 
So we're gonna do that. And uh, it's not looking as not looking as bad as I thought it was gonna, or be as hard as I thought it was going to. <clears throat> so I'll paint that on there while that's drying. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the old rocker here. So I need to. Uh, uh, all right, stay on there. So that goes like that. I need to make that. And uh, the brace is already cut out. So we'll get this on there. We're going to do just like the other side. We'll get the inner rocker set. Keep testing the outer rocker. I'm going to do the braces last. And brace it where it's at. Okay, so it's uh, it's coming along. Let me get some paint and we'll uh, get this other piece made. All right, we got that piece made and tacked in there and that came out pretty nice. Um, got my PUR15 up in there, like I said, and got it brushed around in there real good. So that's, uh, that's good and solid. I'll have to finish weld that. But the next thing I think we're gonna do here is uh, try and make this piece. It kind of went like that. Actually, I'll tell you what. Let me set the camera on the stand here. And let's try and test fit this rocker before we go any further and see how it fits. I don't want to get something welded in there that's going to block that rocker and make it not fit good. So this seems like a good time to start checking it. Okay, so we need to, uh, yeah. Yep, I can look at that. I think a little bit of tweaking, a little adjusting, that's all right. So now we should be able to make this piece. And I don't know if I can make that a one piece or not. Maybe. Or it might be in two. This isn't gonna have to be as wide, so it'll be like actually let's try it now. Cut this off. I should have my gloves on after whacking my thumb, but to bend over a little bit so actually get rid of some of this yeah okay this thing kind of back into the shape it was in it's pretty easy to make a template off of it
और get a piece of cardboard Pencil here somewhere, a pencil. So and kind of That side would look like. Have to hold it on the seam and roll it over. Uh, this side would look kind of like this. Things like that. Just roll it like that. Tell you what, let's make it a little big at first, and then we'll adjust it if we need to. Maybe. Grab some scissors. Here on this line. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And then up here. like this Close. Uh, I forgot this one right here. Yeah, hold that back like that. Actually looks pretty good. And this piece went. Pretty darn close. That's just a hair big, but I think if I make make it like that, then that's going to give me enough, a little bit left on the edges to kind of trim it to get it in there right, and then to um, to do this piece. Like I said, that one went. Get this thing off here. Like 
and then the rocker laid on there there's a spot weld there all right i think that's on the right track i'm gonna go cut this out and uh and I'll bring it back over and we'll see if we can get that in here today. All right, so we got that all welded together and it's looking pretty good and dried the rocker on it. It's, it uh, fits nice. So uh, it's a pretty good day's work. I think we're going to wrap it up on this video here for today. And uh, make sure you hit like, you hit subscribe, tell your friends, uh, leave a comment, let us know what you think about how the truck's going. And when we come back next time, we're going to work on this half back here and hopefully get it looking like that other half. So that's all for now.